questions. Uh, it's basically going to be out of about 30, but it's all going to be weighted. This is the weighted portion of your lab. So I've checked off the other portion of your lab so that we don't have to grade that. You've got instant feedback. You've got one-on-one -on -one feedback and all that stuff. Uh, so you've got six questions. You have the rubric that's attached. It gets, it's pretty detailed as to what you need on there. That's what I'm basically going to circle and tell you, here's what it is. Here's the thing. You all want 100, right? Yeah. Okay, so go to the first part, the five points, and just read what you need to do. It's, it's pretty easy. Now, for question one, I don't think any of you guys have started. Have any of you guys have issues on question one? No. Nope. Okay, I think we're okay with that. Question two, normally what it has, it says, uh, would your hypothesis support it or not? Normally what we do is we say, yes or no, it's supported. What, what is this support or refute going to be based on? Data. Say it louder. Data. data. It's going to be based on what? Data. 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 You're going to establish whether it's refuted or supported from the data, but what you're going to do to explain how it's supported or not is about that adaptability. The question says, make sure that you include points about adaptability of the mouth part, the weather, different environments, others individuals competing, whatever. If this particular mouth part, I'm thinking of forceps, if that is the best thing, what made it the best? What made it the most successful predator? Think about all those elements. And if you look at the rubric, it says, did it cover, did the person explain all the different elements that are in there? So you had two hypotheses. You need to, because it says on each biome, you need to cover each hypothesis. Did I leave you enough room on there to probably write? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm expecting that to be filled. If you need more room, use more room. Question three, here we go. Uh, I don't think this is going to be difficult. So here's the deal. Question one, uh, I'm sorry, why don't you go to question one really quick. Why don't you write your little self a little note, one paragraph. I'm guessing there would be one paragraph on there. People who don't have this portion, you can make yourself a note if you like it also. Uh, part two, though, I think that's going to be two good paragraphs. Two good paragraphs. Bless you. Question three, I think you're going to have one good paragraph. So right. watch. Which predator came close to extinction? Explain what why that may have occurred. So look at your data, which one's coming closest to extinction, and then go back to that idea of, like you did in your, your question two, why do you think it did so poorly? Why is it getting, approaching that, 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 that cusp, if you will? Okay. Um, go to question four, source of the error. Now we did this in the bell work the other day. I know we we're kind of bouncing around a little bit on the bell work, and like we haven't even addressed today's bell work. I didn't think this is the way that the class was going to end up panning out, but it is. So we're dealing with what we have. Um, I put the three points in there. Um, I need two source of error, not procedural error. So the source of error are the things that you can't control. And I want you to address each one with those three points. So what is the source of error? Uh, how did it affect your data? Did it make, did you collect more or less babies or more or less toothpicks? How did it affect your data? And how can you fix it in the future? Okay. Um, questions about that? Go ahead, Scott. Two good paragraphs because you have two sources of error, right? Two sources of error. I'm guessing you're going to have, I mean, you need at least three sentences for each source of error. There's three points on there, correct? So I think that that's a legit question, but probably two good paragraphs. Or two good paragraphs is probably a little bit on the shorter end, though. Does that make sense? Okay. Question five. This is the one, I wouldn't say it's the hardest, but this is going to be the most important one. One good paragraph on this. So this is the future work thing, basically. I only need one new future work, but I want to know how is it going to relate. And I had you guys talk to each other yesterday and say, whatever I do in the future, whatever, however way we tweak this, the same way that this lab that you were able to show natural selection was happening by um, which one was able to get more toothpicks, therefore which one was able to get more babies, therefore started changing the population. Um, whatever you're going to do, how is that going to demonstrate natural selection? Uh, however you answer this question, it's not a big deal to answer question. I mean, it's not really that difficult, I don't think. But it tells me that you're at least able to wrap your mind and your words around this idea of natural selection and how this lab demonstrated natural selection and how your future work would do the same thing. Okay? Does that make sense? Questions about that one? Okay. The very last one. Um, I used this yesterday, and I told them they couldn't have this. Uh, so. I, I gave them a little bump, a little hint in one of the classes. I said, hey, look, you could do this as a future work. You could actually say, what if all the food was like a soup-like consistency? What if instead of toothpicks, we used just a big old like baby pool full of soup, Ugh. right? And
And so don't answer the question on that. I said, so at that point, who would be more successful? Which ones do you think would be more successful? Who would you think would be less successful? So that being said, you can't really use that as one of your future works. All right, does that make sense? So you can't flip that back. And I told them they couldn't use that as future work. Um, but always keep in mind, it's kind of interesting. Even if you had, uh, I don't want to give it away too much, but even if it had a soup-like consistency, the ones that you don't, think about the one right now in your head that would do the worst if it was soup, right? Don't shout it out. Will that one still be able to get a little bit of soup, All right? Now, it goes back to that question I asked you before. If, even if you're the worst possible predator, how many toothpicks do you have to get to still stay in the population? One. one. Just need one. So if I get even a little bit of soup, I'm still in the population. And that variation of that population still stays intact. Okay? Thoughts or comments? Okay, this is all going to be due on Monday. You have six questions, not that bad. So you have one paragraph from the beginning, two good paragraphs, one paragraph. One second. Two paragraphs, then one one. Six questions. This is the weighted portion of your lab. All right, Megan. Are we writing these paragraphs on top of your paper, or just like this? You can write it right on here. You've got enough room on here. Okay. Just make sure it's legible and you do a good. It's good quality. Okay. okay go ahead, hit the button.